To really understand the brain, you have to understand how the brain processes endless streams of information from the environment and creates a fluid experience in consciousness. From the jarring screech of a police siren to delicious smells enveloping your favorite restaurant, information from your senses allows you to move smoothly throughout your day-to-day -day adventures. But how does perception really work? The brain is really like a giant reducing valve, eliminating all of the competing signals from your environment and formulating a coherent picture of what stimuli are most important to every moment. For example, if you're in a smelly bar listening to a talented jazz musician, your brain will naturally eliminate the nefarious smells and focus on the sound of the music. According to Dr. Joe Dispenza, the brain processes 400 billion bits of information per second. But, we are only aware of 2,000 of those. Clearly the brain is processing an inconceivable amount of information that never makes it to conscious awareness. And even with all of this information your brain is taking in from your senses and processing, there are concrete limits to our perception. The range of frequencies that can be picked up by the human ear is 20 to 20,000 hertz. A bat is capable of hearing up to 300 kilohertz, that's up to 150 times more sensitive than a human ear. Human eyesight can only pick up light with a wavelength between 380 and 760 nanometers. This is an extremely small window if you consider the infinite ocean of vibrational energy that we live in. Animals like cats and owls not only have a larger field of vision, but they can also see much better in the dark. Our sense of taste pale in comparison to the large catfish that can have as many as 175,000 taste buds. Humans only have 10,000. As far as odor detection goes, the African elephant trumps all others with 1,948 genes dedicated to smell. Humans place 13th in the animal kingdom with 396 olfactory genes. Signals from touch receptors paint a very important picture of the world in our brains. Touch receptors are not distributed evenly over the body. The fingertips and tongue may have as many as 100 per square centimeter. The back of the hand fewer than 10 per square centimeter. Our skin also has receptors for pain, temperature, and proprioceptors that sense the position of the different parts of the body in relation to each other and the surrounding environment. The star-nosed mole eclipses the human sense of touch with more than six times the amount of sensitivity of the entire human hand just on its nose. There have also been reports since antiquity of a sixth human sense, the ability to receive information directly through our minds. As humans, we take in all of this data from the environment and experience reality in fluid, conscious intervals. Before that happens, each specialized part of the brain works together and processes these signals into a meaningful worldview. Let's dive into each section of the brain and develop a better understanding of how we process human reality.